So uh -huh. I would just like him to say, you know, he's sorry that he shouldn't have been in my face like that. He doesn't have to admit that he pushed me to the ground, even though I obviously have a thing here. I didn't fall back. I didn't fall on my own volition. And I don't care if these laborers lie. That just shows you how corrupt the union is if they get up there and lie to you and tell me you didn't push me. Because he did push me. You know, and I don't feel like I should not be pushed or intimidated in a public space in front of in front of in front of I, I McLaren just got Lodge. Here, sir. I don't know. What, okay, I, I, I'll let the. Yeah. I have to go. Can, can you explain to me? Yeah. So basically, I guess they had an altercation. He was here to do, to go into the lodge for whatever business. I'm not sure what he was doing here, and then he got into a verbal with uh, one of the people that were was attending the function here. Okay. Uh, uh, and apparently he. I don't know what kind of confrontation he had with the general manager. He wasn't the general manager. Uh, he, this guy's even no, worked no, no, for the no. city. But did you, have, yeah. did you have a confrontation with Oh, I just, with I just expressed earlier? an opinion to him, that's all. Which, which one was it? Ginsburg. The, the general manager. But I no, just expressed an opinion to him. The gentleman that pursued that he had the uh, verbal yeah. altercation with him. He says that he pushed him down. Yeah. Okay, warning yeah. you. So. So all I'd like is just a little apology from him saying, I'm sorry I was in your face. He doesn't have to admit pushing me. I think it's reasonable. I would hate to have to ruin his event by pressing charges. but. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll, we'll I don't think he has a right to be in. I don't think he has a right well, to be in. I mean, here, here's, here's the thing. You, you know, he's a member of the union, right? And that's who he represents, right? Yeah. So you know, you can go down and talk to talk to the uh, you know union, whatever his president guy, whatever, and voice your complaint there. That's where it would probably make the most impact, wouldn't you think? Uh no, no, not with his no, boss, because no? I don't think the union would listen. Well, I mean, I can make an opinion pack, but I think I think that you know mm -hmm. it's appropriate to make a citizen's arrest if he's not going to come forth with any sort of apology. Okay. I, mean, I don't think that's unreasonable for him to say, at least, I'm sorry I was in your face, even mm -hmm. if he won't admit to right. pushing me down on the ground. But I clearly, I have. Uh, if he had not come up to me, I would not be on the ground. So whether he, whether he, uh, you know, agrees with me or not, the mm -hmm. fact remains that I am on the ground because of that. Mm -hmm. And. He's claiming, he's going to lie up and down and claim that he didn't push me. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that I did end up on the ground with a bruise on my leg. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a serious bruise, fortunately, but he has no right to be touching me. He has no right to be in my face. I'm not in his face. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Ginsburg is a public servant. He has not been responsive to us. We don't have a way of talking to him otherwise. Mm -hmm. He doesn't hold any hearings. The system is closed. And it's really, really unfortunate that this type of behavior is happening here. Okay. I really don't think that this is called for. Mm -hmm. And I do think that, he, you know, I don't want to wreck his event, but if he won't give me an apology for at least being in my face, you know, because I do have this, this you know, thing on my leg, this mm -hmm. is taking my time. I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. I was, had no plans to disrupt any event. Right. Well, yeah. I, have, I didn't even intend to be here. I just came here to talk to someone in the office. Mm -hmm. And I happened to see Mr. Ginsburg coming in. So mm -hmm. I did voice my opinion in less than 30 seconds, and I hope Mr. Ginsburg cannot. Mr. Ginsburg is certainly known for you know his bullying tactics and his 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 uh, harsh opinions towards others. So I think he can certainly handle it in the city. But it's not the union leader's okay. direction. Yes. Hi. I, I don't I don't know what your agenda is. You know, and I can't get involved in that. Word, please. Right. I understand. Okay. Now. He says that he'll apologize to you for having a loud verbal altercation with you, but that's it. That's fine. I okay. mean, he doesn't have to admit anything. She said that you had something to say to him? Yeah, I apologize for engage, engaging in a hostile conversation with you. I understand what you're trying to do. My hope is that we can work together better and avoid any situation like what took place today. Yes, it'll never happen again. Okay, and I would I'd like you to understand that I did not enjoy falling to the ground even though you don't believe that you pushed me. It certainly does appear to me that you did push me, and I don't want to wreck any event. I was not coming over here to wreck any event, and I think your responses are very uncharitable, and I think that as a union leader, you should be the one who's pushing against these fees because they're creating, you know, $11 Minimum wage. Okay. People cannot be surviving sir, eleven dollars an hour. So we're, I, I, can't, I understand. I can't stand here and I understand, and sir. But it would take you more time if you had to book him. So fortunately, enough to do that because it would be a waste of time for everybody. And there's way too much waste of time in the city. Okay. Way too much. I think okay. we can all agree on that. Okay. Okay. I think so we should be more productive. Of our he, time. He, he did exactly what you wanted, sir. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Okay.